Ah, summer. Don't you just love it? Get the sun cream out, get the shorts on, and get that Barbie fired up. But, what to cook? Dogs are good, but if you're looking for something a bit more adventurous, then we propose you ask Ray. Our dishes this summer have a decidedly South American slant. In this episode, Mahi Mahi Vera Cruz. Whatever that is. Today, we're gonna have a lovely tomatoey, slightly chilli base with some capers, some gherkins, olives, and garlic, make a base for the fish. I'm going to wrap it up in, with tin foil, cook it on the back of the barbecue. Okay, so utilizing your barbecue, get your pan hot. Touch of oil. While we get ready to work on our onions and the rest of the ingredients. Okay, onions, we're going to do a, a slight smaller version of a uh, long julienne. Just makes it a bit easier to eat and it doesn't dangle down your burn your chin when you're eating it. So that goes into your now warming oil. Start to get that cooking down. Next, we have some lovely garlic, about eight to 10 cloves. Again, like we did it previously, when we chopped garlic, a little bit of salt to keep the oils off the board and keep all the flavors in. None of that table salt proper sea salt, always the best thing to use. Okay. Okay. In that goes. Next, chop some lovely tomatoes. Okay, and just remove the hard white core bit. Never nice to eat, and I actually don't think it ever cooks down properly. Now in the background you can start here, the onions and the garlic starting to sizzle. I'll add these a bit later on when the onions and everything are starting to cook down. Next, a lovely chilli. Cut it in half lengthways. Remove the seeds and the pith from the inside. Don't want the seeds because they all, that's where most of the heat is in a, in a chilli. I'm going to put this in with the onions and garlic now. In that goes. I'll drop some dried thyme in there. Good pinch of salt. Along with the cloves and the Szechuan pepper. I love putting the Szechuan pepper in there because it just gives it that different element. Next, we'll do some olives. When you do the olives, I always find it easier, as opposed to pip pipping them. Spend a bit more time out in the garden. Just take lovely little cheeks off. And it's one job and it's done. We've got about six olives for this. Next up, some nice little small Cornish ones. These are a lot nicer than your big wallies, as they call them, that you get in the, um, in the pubs with lots of sugar and too much vinegar in. These are nice and young, crisp to the bite and firm. So let's just check our onions. <clears throat> we put the barbecue on earlier. I had one of the peppers. Chuck it on there for about 20 minutes, burn it all over, and what you have is chuck it into a container, cover it with a lid. Makes it easy, as you will see, to peel. And I'm just going to do it to a nice sort of chunky dice to give the sauce a bit more texture. Okay, so now we will um, add the start adding the rest of the ingredients. So limes, nice little squeeze in. In there, in go the peppers. In go some lovely tomatoes and ripe olives and the lovely little cornichons. And there you go. Okay. Um, then, of course, a good, decent glug of white wine. Now we'll give that a little stir. Allow it to cook down for a bit longer. Then when that's cooked down a little bit more, moisture's gone, we'll add the parsley and a few sprigs of rosemary. So we'll just let that tick over nicely on the side. Now we're near the end. We've got some lovely fillets pre-cut from us of uh, Mahi Mahi from the fishmonger. So we're just gonna put a slit or two in each one. 
And the thing about Mahi Mahi is the skin is extremely tough. I'm sure you can make shoes out of it. It's a lovely, firm, fleshed fish. And just will absorb all these flavors and hold itself up on its own. Huge bunch of chopped parsley goes in. So now it brings out all the colors. The aroma changes, the texture changes. All ready to go. Just a little bit of salt. Touch more pepper. One really nice tipple that I quite like with the uh, fish dish we cooked earlier today, it's got enough strength and depth in, the, in character to hold a red wine and we would probably put a Le Coq Rouge with it. Very nice indeed, um, not too overpowering. There's plenty of strong flavours with the fish uh, that make it work. So, we've laid our tin foil out, got a lovely nice big spoon and we will spoon some of the Vera Cruz base onto it. You can make this in advance and keep it in the fridge and it will store lovely for about a week, 10 days I would say. So just in case you were bored one day, you knew you are going to have a barbecue. Put that on like so. Take our fish. Lay that on there. Put the salt and pepper onto the fish. Little drizz of oil. And you wrap this up. Got a lovely little parcel. If you keep it so you've got a handle, it's so much easier to put it on and take off the barbecue. We're going to sit that at the back. And that'll probably take 15 minutes and that'll be perfect. Moisture in there, it just steams the fish, all the flavours that we've prepared. Perfect. 20 minutes is up, it's fingers crossed, the fish is cooked. Gently open it up and be careful because obviously it's been steaming. And there's a big chance that you could get a nasty steam burn. And the fish is cooked perfectly. The smell is outstanding. Lovely and tender, taking all those flavours on. We're going to enjoy it completely. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm lighting the barbie right now. Or I might just go down to the Eagle on Askew Road. It looks nice. Remember, if you have any questions for Ray, then tweet us with the hashtag AskRay and keep them clean. We're a reputable company here at Geronimo, don't you know?